the importance of doing things supplemental to golf, I mean, it, it really can't, I mean, you may not want to do it, you may, I'm too busy to do it, but trust me, there, there are really good reasons to do it. Whether you want to be, you know, a competitive golfer, or you just want to enjoy the game as long as you possibly can, because you think it's really a, a, a fun, rewarding way to spend your time, and I think that's probably everybody here. So, if your ankles are more, uh, are more comfortable, if your knees are more comfortable, you're, you're good in the hips, you feel pretty uh, balanced here front to back, you know, shoulders are pretty good, then uh, that's fantastic. And you don't have to be a competitive golfer to enjoy those, uh, those benefits. Now, when uh, Tom and I started talking about uh, what we call golf athletics in earnest, um, I spent some time trying to figure out um, what's, what's the best way to approach resistance training uh, for a golfer. Because there's a lot of things that you can do that fall under this big umbrella called exercise. And are they all going to be applicable to golf? The answer would be no, logically. And there's another thing that you have to think about too. If, uh, if you pop on YouTube, it's on the internet, uh, it's free. You can see all kinds of stuff related to, uh, like uh, Vijay Singh's a good example. There's footage of Vijay Singh working with his personal trainer. And you may look at that and it's like, well, if it's good enough for Vijay, it should be good enough for me. So I'm going to start doing all of that stuff. And there's, there's two reasons why that may not be a good idea. Number one, um, Vijay's being supervised. And number two, the guy that Vijay's working with, I mean, you know how it is, you get like five different experts in a room, you, you'll have a fist fight, right? Because they will not agree on everything or a lot of things. And I would probably get in a fist fight with Vijay's trainer, you know, in a productive, metaphorical way. And the other thing is, well, I'll use this as an example. If somebody wanted to lose weight and they said, hey, Mike, what's the most fast, uh, efficient, tested way, ex just exercise alone, to, to lose weight. And I would say lots and lots of high intensity sprints. And I would be technically correct. Now if any of you came to me and said, hey Mike, what's, what's, the, what's that answer? And I say, well, you know, it'd be a lot of high intensity sprints. And then you say, okay Mike, gotta go. And then you go off and run your high intensity sprints. You will call me later, if you can, and you will be angry. I didn't necessarily say that you should be doing those high intensity sprints, okay? You have to have earned the right to do certain things physically, okay? I, I don't know anyone in here's background, but if you said, you know, Mike, next week is the uh, Ironman Triathlon in Hawaii, I'm feeling a little saucy. I'm on it. I would say, wait, wait, wait. May not be for you because your body has not earned the right to do those things yet. Not saying you couldn't do it. You absolutely could. but you know, a week is not going to get you there. So there is a, a learning curve, there is a, uh, a curve of cumulative achievement to get you to the point where you could maybe do like what Vijay's doing in his YouTube thing. If Vijay's been working out for five years and he's doing XYZ in the weight room and you have not been working out at all for five years, should you go in and try to replicate that? And the answer is no. And that's one of the things that, that's kind of hard to wrap our head around. You know, once we decide, by golly, I'm going to exercise, you know, uh, Mike and his haircut really got me motivated. I'm going to go to the weight room. Well, that's super great. And I, I'm happy about that, but, you know, we're Americans, and when do we want things? Yesterday. I mean, I'm no different. I w w once I get my mind fixed on something, I want it now. And, you know, the, the ramp-up period that is so necessary can, uh, can be a bit of a hindrance. It can be kind of uh, frustrating, and that, that can beat you down and, and be discouraging for a lot of people. So. Remember that, there, there is a, a gradient, there, there is a ramping up to anything that you might want to do physically.